Florida A&M University journalism professor Dame Deanna Ziegler witnessed the evolution of one of R&B's leading ladies, Gladys Knight and backup singers, the Pips. I saw them from the time they came to the Apollo as kids when Gladys had little low shoes and crinoline slips. Okay, so I've watched it. I've watched them grow. Ziegler's sister married William Guest, one of the Pips. The sisters had moves of their own and also spent time at New York's Apollo Theater winning dance contests. Ziegler met Guest when she was 11. He took me everywhere when I was a little kid. So I was backstage at the Apollo Uptown Theater. I was at the Waldorf. I was, you know, in Detroit at Motown. Decades later, Ziegler started gathering material for a documentary and ended up writing guest memoir, Midnight Train from Georgia, A Pip's Journey. Oh, that midnight train to Georgia, even on the midnight Guest train. wanted to give lessons learned about a rewarding but tough journey. I mean, if, if we read people reading the book, they would discover that these artists, like the Temps and Marvelettes, et cetera, um, they were all kind of ripped off early on. Readers will also get guest version of the group's breakup in the 80s. Ziegler says it wasn't their first. So they'll find out about different times of breaking up. And they'll find out about the group started out as the Pips, who was my brother-in-law, his sister Eleanor, Gladys, her sister Brent, and brother Bubba. He still contends that that was the best group. The book also covers the women in Guest's life, the Pips' influence on Motown, and Guest's work in music today. Ziegler learned a lot from the Pip she calls a brother. An accomplished songwriter, Ziegler wrote a number one hit in 1975, and she ran a production company owned by Guest and another Pip, Edward Patton, for three years. It's just something that is part of my life. So telling his story, I'm also telling my story. Today, Ziegler takes lessons learned into the classroom, proud of a memoir that provides an education about soulful trailblazers. In Tallahassee, I'm Kathy Yvette reporting.